The solid continuity filter is used to identify contiguous or connected voxels with similar node values. These contiguous voxel groupings are referred to as geobodies. A geobody could be a hydraulic conduit, a hydraulic barrier, a geothermal pathway, a hydrocarbon reservoir, and so on. To use the continuity filter, select the Utilities Solid Filters Continuity Filter option. Please note that this program was introduced within Rockworks 17. The input can be any type of block model such as hydraulic conductivity, porosity, or lithology. For this demonstration, we'll use a lithology model. The output model will consist of numeric values that represent geobody numbers, which we'll explain later on. The minimum and maximum G values define the range of block model node values to be considered when isolating contiguous voxels. For example, if we set the minimum to 6.5 and the maximum to 7.5, we'll be able to identify all of the gravel geobodies because the gravel G value is set to 7.0. The program will create a report that shows all of the geobodies sorted from largest to smallest for each group of contiguous voxels within the specified G value range. These geobodies are numbered in the order that they were encountered when performing the filtering. In other words, they're arbitrary. The geobody numbers represent the voxel values that are stored within the output model. To view a single geobody, double-click on the model within Rockplot 3D and enter its number within the filter option. To limit the output to just the larger geobodies, check the Remove Small Geobodies option and specify a minimum volume. Both the report and the output model will now be limited to just the geobodies that exceed the specified minimum volume. Now, let's increase the range of the minimum and maximum G values to include all of the porous units from sand to gravel. We can now infer that there is hydraulic communication throughout this particular geobody. As an example, consider this lithology model within a basin flanked by mountain ranges. The valley is a down-dropped graben defined by two normal faults. By isolating the larger geobodies, we can begin to understand how fluids might move through this complex mix of materials.